Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode. My name is Cameron Buchan and if you don't know me, I do a little bit of rowing. Today I won't be rowing, but these guys will be. We're going to get on the water over here and do some awesome pieces on the water. Are we all ready? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And the camp is finished. A great day of getting to yam on it outside on the water. Weather not quite as fantastic, but I think all had some fun, coaches and athletes alike. It's been an awesome opportunity for me to watch the athletes improve, to help out, whether it was with advice or sharing my experience in my US university days or communicating with other coaches from other parts of the world and seeing, hearing their perspectives and sometimes just having a little bit of a different outlook and hearing that different bit of an outlook can really sort of adjust your sort of thinking and that's, I think if you can get as many different outlooks, experiences, share them with as many people as possible, we'll get them shared to you as well can really shape your thought process and help you do the best for you. And it can kind of apply that to training as well. It's been a really good camp and I really enjoyed it. I appreciate Sparks having me here and getting to do this camp here at Cambridge University, seeing all the facilities, seeing the university, exploring Cambridge a little bit as well. A little bit of variation because remember variation is one of the keys to motivation. And just a little message, a lot of the the athletes here are asking one piece of sort of advice or one thing that you would say to say a beginner rower or someone wanting to improve their, their rowing. Yes, you can do loads of training. Yes, you can improve your technique. But beyond that or even before that, the is trying to enjoy the process. Finding things in rowing that you enjoy makes the whole process that little bit easier. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you think about it, how many training strokes do you take versus the amount of racing strokes do you take? You take a lot more training strokes. So if you're able to enjoy the training, enjoy the steady state, enjoy the intervals maybe, whether it's on the erg, on the water, or some other cross training, if you're able to enjoy that, it means that the whole entire process whether it's leading up to racing or just through winter training becomes that little bit easier and that little bit more manageable and you can end up being that little bit more consistent. Rather than sometimes when you don't quite enjoy it as much, you end up only looking to that race that may be quite far away away and it's that light at the end of the tunnel. Rather than when you do enjoy it, a lot of the training, enjoying the process, it can end up being there is no light at the end of the tunnel because you're not in a tunnel at all. There's just light, if that makes sense. But that will be it for today's episode and that will be it for the end of the Sparks Growing Camp series for this year. Hopefully I'll be back at Sparks Camp in the future. I'll put a link in the description to the Sparks website if you are interested in hearing more about the camp, seeing if you're interested in going to another one. I'm not sure when the next one may be. And... I'm not sure when the next video here will be, probably when I begin training again coming up soon in the next few weeks, but that will be for future Yam Squad to look forward to. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you are notified for when the next video does drop. And as always, hit that like button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode whenever, wherever that may be.